55 doors under management, 200,000 a month. How does somebody avoid the Airbnb bust? And I'd probably say it's three different things is level of uniqueness of your property. You don't want to be like all the others. Number two is your pricing strategy. In Arizona, we all know here that peak time is when it starts cooling down, but then the summertime, no one wants to be here. So really just kind of changing your strategy for the summertime and trying to get a little bit more midterm stays and filling up that calendar for when the peak season comes around, you can really capitalize on those larger uh, reservations. And then number three is decor. And last, I would say it would be hospitality because a lot of people think Airbnb is a real estate business, but it really is a hospitality business. So, I mean, we, we're we averaging 4.92 rating on our, and we're super hosts. So um, obviously we're doing our job of creating a good experience. You guys heard it from Daniel himself. This guy's going to hit $2 million in the next 12 months as a co-host. You guys want to know more about Daniel? Give him a follow.